Welcome to Torre Grande, Italy. Located on the west coast of Sardinia, it's a paradise for kite events. In May 2022, the Gulf of Oristano hosted an international group of elite young riders contesting the Formula Kite Under 21s and A's Youth Foil World Championships. This World Championship is obviously quite a mission and uh, there's a lot of effort uh, involved and uh, the opportunity to work uh, together with IKA is a great chance for us to develop uh, the, all the aspects of the organization side including uh, the chance to bring uh, bigger and bigger events uh, here in this uh, beautiful location. This is the future, running specific youth event. It helps to have all these kind of greatest athletes, kids, just with a lot of emotion from the beginning when they are uh, young until and maybe seeing them on the highest level. The cream of the crop of youth athletes prepared to hit the water to show why many of them are already considered top level competitors amongst the seniors too. The Formula Kite Under 21's World Championship are the ultimate test for these young riders as they foil above the surface at speeds in excess of 30 knots. The first day of action acted as a demonstration of the title holder Maximilian Maida's impressive skills. He was dominant, with eight wins in eight races at the end of qualifying in the boys' Formula Kite division. The situation was more complicated in the female fleet, as we were approaching the final day that would see both boys and girls competing in a new, interesting format. Medal series for kite foiling. There will be 10 people in total in the medal series. Two, they advance directly to the finals for all their hard work in the qualifying. And the eight people will be split into two groups of four, each to race their own races. And then the winners of those two semi-final groups will then split together for the final group of four and that finals will be run until someone has gotten three wins. The last day of the Kite Foiling Youth World Championships had finally arrived. China's Kibin Huang earned his place in the finals through the semis and went on to win in the first final race, putting pressure on Maida, who only needed one win to reach the total of three required. After a short break, waiting for the wind to stabilize, Maida appeared refocused, and with what seemed to be an easy win, he managed to keep the world title to his name for another year, while Huang finished second, securing the silver medal. What a day for the Asian competitors, with two riders on the top of the podium. Two Asians at the podium. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. I, I, I cannot, I mean, look at this, like uh, Asia, Asia is coming and it's with full force. Okay, so I was really happy about me and Max going to world top one and top two in the Youngs Championship. And we are showing that action is coming in this competition. There was much more drama and an unforeseen but well-deserved winner in the girls' fleet. Nina Architz didn't look like a serious contender for the world title in the opening series, but the medal series format gave her a shot at the podium. She scored two consecutive wins in the semis, advanced to the finals and won another three races to take the world title. Somehow I win the <laughs> world championships and yeah, I'm so excited and happy about my results. <laughs> As for the youth foil under 17s competition, Gian Andrea Stragiotti of Switzerland was crowned the world champion, ahead of last year's winner from Poland, Jan Kozowski. The female division included another Polish winner, with the title going to Karolina Jankowska. It was another amazing world championship. It had everything. Top-level action, drama, stories to remember, and a reminder that the future will always be bright for those who always think positive. <laughs>